was going to adjust the zoom then, but I pressed the stop button by accident. So, yeah, the wind's still pretty strong. It's, it's coming in bits and bobs, really. It's, it's not consistent. I'm hoping that, I mean, think, I think it's going to fade off about uh, one or two o'clock-ish, hopefully. All, all the gusts of wind will disappear then, and hopefully, and we'll just be stuck, well, I will just be stuck with the uh, nine or ten mile an hour wind or something like that. I'll try and... See how I get on, really. So yeah, I've got, I don't know if you can see me any more clearer now. Before it wasn't very good. I could just see top half of my head. I look, I noticed. Um, yeah, I've, I've been fishing for well, I fished maybe four or five years in total. If maybe maybe a year or two, I'll take a year. Um, no, I'm just looking at the end of that rod there. Is yeah, the tip. No, it's just a wind. It's a sodding wind. It's just too windy at the moment still. Okay. Yeah, I started back up. Um, started to buy some more kit. Try some grain bait and things like that. Pellets instead of using what I used to use, which was typically maggots and uh, maybe the occasional boilie. I'm just trying something different. I found the boilies aren't really working now, um, this time of year. Maybe they were in the spring or in the summer. Um, but I'm just trying. I'm just trying a fair few different baits. I, I know sweet corn worked here a while the last time I came here. Um, so I'm trying that. I've got pellets on the method feeder, uh, marine halibut pellets on on there, and I've got a cage feeder out with on another rod, and I've got the marine halibut flavour again. But I've got uh, grain bait on that one, so I'm hoping the sweet corn will attract their attention. I'm just wondering whether. Having that rod up so high, I mean, suppose somebody could probably tell me the answer to this straight away, but it's quite a windy day. I've got this rod stuck right up in the air, this black one, and I maybe I shove it right down by the water, but I do like to fish with the rods up at, I mean, even higher than it is now. I like to fish with the rods sticking right up in the air, so I might fish with a rod all the way up, for example, and then you can see that you can see the end, then it'll just dip straight down if it. That end will just dip and, and if a fish takes it, as it, as it did the, the week before when I came here. So, I just hope they start to get a bit more hungry towards the afternoon because I haven't seen any bites at all. I haven't seen any indication of fish whatsoever today. Obviously, you normally see, uh, I mean, I went to Gloucester Canal the other day and I saw fish jumping out of the water. Pardon me, burp there. Um, saw circles on top of the water as well, so. I'd like to see a bit more indication of fish around than I have today. I don't really want to walk the entire circumference of this lake because, I mean, somebody on this exact spot where I'm fishing now, they did very, very well the other day. They seem to be catching when nobody else was. So I'm just hoping that if the fish are all the way over the other side of the lake, where those two swans are, somewhere in that section, right away over the other side of the middle bank, the island, large island, in the middle of the horseshoe. I'm hoping if, if they are there, if they're congregating there, maybe they'll work their way all the way around and come down this swim. But I can only hope. I didn't get here till about, what, well, maybe half past nine by the time I started fishing, so I'm just going to carry on, see how it goes. Okay, that's all for now. See you later.